for you, right. So let's bring Dequell in here, and when I say let's bring Dequell in, he can't physically roll to us, but I did just see him roll through his man cave down there. Ooh. Dequell, how you doing, man? How's the, uh, how's the Achilles little, doing? What's up, fellas? We got good. You. Nah, you yeah. We're know looking what? at everything right now. Look, look. What's bro. going yeah, on in yeah. there? Oh, he's okay. Just okay. want to bag it out, bro. We're all over you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I wish I had one presentable room in my house. This man's oh, talking listen, man. better yeah. than my walls. Hey. I had to switch it up because I had this uh, walking boot on, and I got my knee scooter, so I, I couldn't get around in my in my normal uh, studio yeah. area. So you know, I figured this would do. You got to go to another luxury How, how room. is the Achilles? The That's what I was going to ask. Let's get a little update on. Are you doing all right? It's, it's, it's doing pretty good up until last night, man. I, I, I took a little fall. I, uh, I had my boot off, and, and it was not it was not fun. The wife had to come peel me up off the floor. But uh, other than that, I'm doing good, man. Do you got you that know? life lock thing that that you you push the button? <laughs> life alert. It's called life alert. <laughs> 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 I fall. Hey, you're the second I person fall, that I ask you about that. No, I don't. Like, uh, you be, I fall and I can't yeah. get up. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you be re, you be in a real vulnerable state, my man. This I, is my oh, life saver. Oh, that's, that's a lifesaver. I had that like all summer. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, yeah. I I tell you what, man. The the quail, we, we Deshaun Watson's back in the fold. Mm -hmm. Um, first and foremost, we got to get to we got to get to how you felt. The press conference went, you know, some people up here was like, man, he should have been answering them questions. He could have got it out right. of the way. Uh, what's your thought right. on Deshaun Watson and, and how he handled this press conference opposed to one he handled on the way out, which was kind of rough. Right. Right. I, I think at this point it's going to be to ask him to satisfy all, all of his wishful thinking. I think from a from a formality standpoint, I assume he wasn't going to address uh, all the outside noise, all the the allegations that and the lawsuits that he had to um, uh, deal with off the field. I, in my mind, I figured he wouldn't he w he would want to avoid all of it, and he did. And I thought he answered every every question with as much enthusiasm as he could at that moment. But at some point, I do think because this noise isn't going to go away, he's going to have to address it at some point. I think. Uh, the fact that he came out and let everyone know and everyone was tuning in. I was tuning in live. I wanted to see what his reaction, what his comments would be about the whole situation. Obviously, there's a legality standpoint to it. There's certain things he can and cannot say based on the um, the settlements. But I thought he handled it like any 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 person would 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 handle any, you know, hot stress situation like that. But at some point, he's going to have to deal with it. He's going to have to talk about it either during or after the season because Listen, let's face it. There's been other guys in this league, Ben Rossberger, for instance, who had to deal with it, and his teammates had to deal with it for, for a very long time. And this isn't going away anytime soon. But I was, um, you know, it was, I, I kind of cringe watching it, you know, because you, you didn't want him to, you know, I go back and forth. I think I fall somewhere in the middle. You know, you have all these, you know, uh, lawsuits that you, or settlements you had to, to, um, to have with these these victims or or women for that matter and i, I don't know man I, I just hope at this point i just hope he he can focus in and play football do something he loves because this isn't going away anytime soon he's going back to houston and a place where honestly if i were in that front office i wouldn't bring him back this week guys mm -hmm. i think it's just much to deal with unless he has Unless he has some therapist that that travels with him that can deal with this, because no one could could predict what type of mental uh, strain this is going to have on this this man. And uh, I don't know if it were me, I wouldn't I wouldn't have brought him back this week. I know as a competitor, he marked this this day on his calendar all year long to say, you know what, I want to I want to play against the team that let me go, that started all of this this uh, this noise. And, um, you know, that's my opinion on it, you know, and, and I'm sure it may change or, or, or it's like a fluid situation to me. I think it may change as the, the season unfolds. Dequil, uh, help me out with this. I, Mikey posed a question to us. You might have heard it right before you came on. And I believe that the two gentlemen on either side of me might be drinking the Kool-Aid, as they say, a bit much. The question was, <laughs> is there a better chance that the Browns lose this game to Houston or that the Browns go six and zero for the rest of the season. Both of them think that they're going. They, there's a better chance that they would go six and zero. I personally go the other route. I think there's a better chance, just mathematically, that they will lose the game in Houston and then not win six in a row. So, first of all, do you agree with me and them? And secondly, 
this uh, I'm just curious, what was the longest winning streak the Browns had when you were playing with them? Ooh, so I'll, I'll, I'll start with the second question first. When I was there, the longest winning streak we had, because it, it's very uh, probably, it was definitely 2007. Derek yeah. Anderson was the quarterback. We, 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 that was the year we, we, year. we had gone on tennis. So I won a probably four games. And that was one of the best seasons. Do you know the answer to that? Yes. I don't know the answer, no, but I will look it up. I should have done that, that research. I will. Okay, but, okay. I, I'm assuming it's four. I'm, yeah, I'm, it was a great year. I'm it was a fun year. Four. But I'm just pointing out how tricky it is for any team to win, you know, six games in a row, and it's pretty ambitious. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I think it's probably I, I side with you, Mike, on this one. I, I think they have a better chance of losing this game than winning six in a row. Uh, I don't think this team – this team has only proven to uh, win in one that's running the football and and hoping and praying that we can play good defense. Guys, am I going in and out? No, you good, DQ. Right. You good. Okay. Yeah, we hear you. It, you just like, it just looks like a little bit of a horror movie now and again, but it's not a big deal. By the way, producer Steve said it was a three-game winning streak in 2007. What were the teams? Seattle, St. Louis, Miami. and Miami. So, three-game winning streak uh, in 2007. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't easy. So, so DQ, yeah, they were all tough to win over. Dequel, Dequel, <laughs> let, me, let me ask you a question. Right? We're going to keep 100 here. First of all, you see them tarp, you see them tarps last night? No, I didn't. I uh, didn't, but I called. Were, I called they, the uh, the news up. You, you saw the highlight, morning. right? The step back, right? I yes. got it. Yeah, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just check it. <laughs> Absolutely. Keep an eye on. Keep an eye on. Listen, Brad. Oh man. I, I listen. I I had to let you know. So guys, when Ohio State was at Maryland, I, you know, I was texting. I was texting Brad. I was texting uh, Jay. <laughs> I wanted to talk a little crap. But I knew, you know, it was going to – our luck was going to run out at some point. I just had to kill it. Gave us a and Brad, we and Brad was going back and forth. And he, wanted to call, he called me after the game. Of course, you know, if you watch the game, we we, we we flipped it up. And so I told Brad, I'm like, I am not – I am answer. not answering this phone right now. I am not in a good answer. space. I can't answer. Oh, well, my. you can see we went to your LinkedIn picture because you were coming in and no. out. <laughs> Hey, hey, DQ, let me ask you a okay. question, man. Okay, here, cool. Here, I get it. Here, I get no, it. you back live. Here's the deal. Mike asked you a question about, you know, no, you said, uh, asked you a question. You said, you know, you thought the organization could have held um, the, uh, mm-hmm. Deshaun out. Mm-hmm. To me, everybody in the building knew this was the date he he was could be available. Mm-hmm. Right. If he did not return that date, and playing this game, I think it'll just send a crazy message inside the locker room. Because you the guy that we've been banking on here, right? Do I know what you made of here? We're gonna see it on Sunday. Because not many have done it. I can name right. a few who have been at, in the adverse circumstances. Jordan with the gambling was under adverse circumstances. Mm. Showed up. Father's mm-hmm. death showed up, right? Mm-hmm. Kobe Bryant showed up. Yeah. Showed up mm-hmm. for a 50-piece yeah. in the playoffs. Yeah. 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 There have been many that have shrunk under extreme pressure. Yeah. Collapsed. We're going to know an awful lot on Sunday at 1 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 to, that, to that point, Brad, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. But to that point, I think you really – I think guys nowadays aren't built like they used to in the, in, yeah. in the old days. In the old days, it was no matter what. You you show up, you show out, no matter what the circumstances are. And the platform now, these kids are, are not as tough as they were back then. And for him, they, this tells me the organization has an extreme amount of confidence in his ability to deal with this from a psychological standpoint yeah. and a mental standpoint. He'll be able to compartmentalize the noise. He, he's he's never – he's Deshaun Watson has been used to walking into the stadiums and people cheering for him. Yeah, Everyone true. loved him. You know, he was easy, likable guy. Now this is a completely different scenario, and they have trust that he can go out and perform. My only concern was, man, I don't know if they really understand the level of emotions that it, it would take on a guy just revisiting his old team without all the noise oh, that yeah. Deshaun Watson had going through the offseason let alone 
there's going to be his accusers. There's going they're going to be at the at the at the game. There's going to be a, a huge community Classic. of people that <laughs> right, a, a huge community of people that support him, and a huge community of people that don't want to see him play throw another football or play or wear an NFL uniform. So uh, we're definitely you're right about one thing, Brad. You're definitely going to see what this young man is made of if he can go in in a hostile environment. And I don't think it's going to be all that hostile. I think a lot of people in the Houston community really appreciate uh, Deshaun Watson. You're really going to see how he responds after that game or during that game because all eyes will be on him. All see, cameras will be on him, how he reacts on, a, on an interception or what the case may be. And DeQuell, you're right. And I think you, you, you and we talked about it before you came on. I think people think that everybody in Houston hates Deshaun Watson. They don't. Mm -hmm. no. They don't. That's what G was talking about. Yeah. We don't know what kind of receiver. Because when I talk to people in Houston, they're like they they not on none of it. They're like, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. you okay with me? I I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what, DeQuell. It's very rare nowadays because this never happens. It's very rare that you get a quarterback that switches teams, has not played for that long, this mm -hmm. level of anticipation, this level of just media surrounding. I mean, this has been this has been going on for, you know, consistently for months. But I'll say this. You said something just a second ago about how these guys ain't built for that. I remember, you know, Pippen carrying Jordan with the flu game, right? I remember him coming back wearing with the 45 jersey, right? Mm -hmm. I even remember Brett Favre. See, I ain't no hater. I remember when his dad died, he threw four touchdowns, five touchdowns yeah. uh, on, on the Raiders, right? Mm -hmm. Just out there, just, just limping around, bro. And so, for right. me, there was very rare opportunities in this game where you can become a legend. This is, if you was ever upset, if you was ever mm -hmm. mad that you knew Sean Watson and you thought that somebody said, Something out of turn. If you felt you was you was persecuted incorrectly, if you just felt like people just felt like you wasn't no good and they was assassinating your character, now balls in your court. See, the media is great. They, they you ain't never gonna be able to beat the media at their game. They got all of the influencers. They got all the stations. They got everything. But guess what? When it comes to that field, that's your domain. That's where you uh, shine. That's where you can go. And I could just sit here and I, every every player visualize. Can you visualize that first touchdown when he get in that end zone and, and them jeers oh, and man. fouls coming and then he do his little celebration and he and you yeah, got to see that three, gee, four gee. times. Woo! Yeah, yeah. So if I don't know if you guys watched the Jets game last week where uh, the backup came in and had a great day and the love and support and reaction from the rest of his team about yeah. his success. We're probably going to see something similar to that we're going to we're going to see if they when they do score and he, if he has a hand in it, the yeah. amount of support we're going to see just how this team is going to galvanize yeah. around him. And you you brought you made me uh, the, everything that you said made me think about this next point. Kudos to to Deshaun Watson for even taking on this challenge. Again, I know it was probably out of his his control, but the fact that he's stepping up to this plate, knowing knowing that everyone else knows just how big of a task it is to go out there in front of the entire world to know all everything that's happened in the last two years to go out there and, and do something that you love. And he's doing it for Cleveland. Um, listen, if you weren't a fan of him before, obviously what he does on the field has a lot is going to have a lot to do with it. But, um, you know, my hat goes off for him, the football player. Uh, in that regard, but let me say this last thing, dude. Where's the where's the where's the the love of Christmas? It's December first, oh, man. man. Like I don't see <laughs> any Christmas we, decorations we, or anything around here. Skip me up in here. <laughs> hey, it, it is kind What's of going on, man? It's real dry here, dude. <laughs> well, when yes. you come on next week, we're gonna have some uh, some new art in the studio, courtesy of one of G's boys. So, oh, good. We're gonna is have it, some okay. holiday okay. themed decor. No, G, but you could. Seems Maybe a little, some of this holiday. I've seen some samples. I haven't seen the full uh, remodel. I, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't seen it. But you know, we, shout out. Uh, he's shout out. We go. We go hardcore. Full, full, all the way in. Yeah, we're going all the way we're in. We're gonna decorate we're all, though. We're You're all right. the way in. We're all the way in. We'll make it festive. <laughs> I don't know. Now, now you know. Back in the day, yeah, when you was in, you know, everybody, people who got kids, they changed it from Christmas to a holiday party. Yeah. Like, <laughs> winter festivus. <laughs> 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 so I don't know. They gonna let us get a whole full blown 
tree. You're but right. I'm into the tree game. Well, we'll just throw a menorah back there so we can cover the bases. <laughs> but the, but the, it is funny. It's true. Like remember, like on soap operas and on the game shows and on talk shows and stuff, where all of a sudden December hits and you got poinsettias everywhere oh, behind everywhere. everybody all the time. Everywhere. We well, are right. We need some of that. Yeah. Yeah. We need that. You we should see that. upstairs. My house is all festive. Oh, yeah, is yeah. it? Can what? you get up there though? So, so, uh-huh. so up did, did did you do it? <laughs> did you do it before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving? After Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 too. That's, that's, that's the rule. That's the better. Move. Oh, and now I gotta ask. Now I gotta ask. Well, listen. So you got you want everybody to be festival, right? You want everybody to be festive. Let me ask you this question: Does mm-hmm. your does your child? Believe that uh, Santa Claus is bringing the gear, toys, or 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 mommy and daddy is is ponying up. My boy, my, there might be my, children my watching this. I, there might be. What we're saying is either could bring them. Which do you kids believe are bringing them currently? Both. Oh, Both. Nice. Good setup. Both. Uh, my son knows Santa brings some gifts. But mommy and daddy brings the majority of the gifts. You buy the majority of That's the, the move. So say yeah. that. Yes, sir. Yeah. That I'm going to get some credit for this. <laughs> My kids are college age and up, and they know exactly where it's coming from. And they exactly sent them a list here to be like, hey, they, my youngest one, my youngest was like, follow this list to the T. Mm-hmm. Hey, get on there right now, because you'll wait to the last minute. Yeah. Hey, you, that, we know where his UCSS money going. That's going. That's out of here. Hey, Dequel, speaking, speaking of your son, Dequel, I I have to ask this real quick. I saw on your Instagram he was mm-hmm. Wakandaing up all over the kitchen. It looked like he whacked you too. I, I gotta imagine oh, with yeah, the bum yeah, ankle. Yeah, yeah. That's gotta be tough to deal with right now. Yeah, listen, man, it was wifey was out of town for work for a day or two and it was just me and him and he took full advantage, bro. He had his <laughs> swords and all of a sudden he started screaming Wakanda forever with the accent and all of a sudden the sword that he was playing with on the couch and on the ground ended up hitting me and he was his punching bag. Man. So yeah. I, I ended up recording him, man. So it, it, it's hilarious. That, that dude trips me out every day. But poor. so the month of December is definitely around Christmas. We definitely use his Christmas list. If he doesn't listen to us, say, like, hey, that's one less gift. Santa's going to bring go. you if you don't listen. Works every time, man. Hey, Dequan, one, more thing about, one more thing about your son. Is he all right mm-hmm. after running into the, the wall the other day? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, If y'all yeah, haven't yeah, seen yeah, this yeah. video, Dequan, you got to text him this video. We'll, we'll put it up and you text it to me. I'll right. see if I can throw it up. It is the funniest. I texted Dequan making sure oh, his son was all right. It Took was a little tumble day. Listen, yeah. I don't want to see on Instagram it's... your son pour no purple Kool-Aid down your throat talking about the power of the Black Panther <laughs> is now inside you. <laughs> 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 If you take the videos to Quell, I'll put, I'll put them on. You stupid. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll text it to you. I'll definitely text it. <laughs> no, man, so every now he has this uh, this scooter, so now he knows anytime he – so one of our – his godmothers brought him a skateboard, and why does she do that? So <laughs> oh. immediately he knows he has to wear that helmet because he doesn't want to relive that moment on that scooter when he almost broke his neck. Good. So, yeah, he learned. He learned something. Yeah, it took it took everything for me not to laugh at the moment, but oh my god, I watched it probably a hundred times. But I'll send, <laughs> I'll send it to you, McNuggets, for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I you laughed that out. Laugh I laughed. Hey, wait, look, we got somebody else in town now. Uh, look the, who decided to what's join up, us. What's up, Clytus? What's going on, bro? Dequel, man, what's how's life, man? How, I, I like you with your Santa hat on and whatnot. Got you a couple shots going on. You know, I'm a lemonade. I'm a lemonade guy myself, but I respect what okay. you got going on. Oh, sh- shout out okay, to my okay. man Tyvis Dequel. Tyvis walked up in here today. <laughs> he got his Letterman jacket on from college. Yeah. Ooh, I, like and it's still fit. I was like, oh, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need to sign him. <laughs> I said, is that hey, listen, can we talk about Letterman that? jacket? I put in a lot of work. Hey, that's, that hey, that's, still that's a man that's true to his alma mater. <laughs> because that display of football that I watched a couple weeks ago, you know, the quail this that was embarrassing. You know, the quail that was, was embarrassing. It was, it was one of those situations Quite. that, you know, when I watched it, I was in disgust myself. I was oh. in disgust mm-hmm. about the the fact that they, they yeah. went out there and let so many explosive plays yeah, yeah. happen. Oh, but, look. 
Shout out to the festive. Shout out to the bros from the Kappa Alpha. Oh, there we go. We got some candy canes. Where the at? Where the noobs at? Huh? Where the noobs at? Is this better? What they got? But the quail, listen, man. If if USC trip over their feet tonight and they make it back in, oh lord, it could be a rematch. It could be a rematch. Could have, would have, should have. I'm a car care member. I'm gonna stop him here. I'm not backing in nobody's tournament. If I ain't earned my way in, the AD should have stood up and said this from the beginning. We not Brad. taking no bids. Brad. We're going to whatever bowl. Brad is we don't lying. deserve to be in that Brad bowl. is lying no, to No, I'm his not man. lying. Listen, <laughs> you would, any fan the would quail, much rather them be in it the than quail, not to be in it. That's what you just talked about. That's the difference the between quail. old school. I'd rather see them in it than school. not in it. The difference between old school and new school. <laughs> You're not giving me nothing. I'm going to earn my way yeah. into this thing. I got <laughs> a point. <laughs> Both, both of you guys, it's hard to argue both of you guys Brad, right now. But Brad would be cheering the for them if they was in the CFP. We ain't taking no he, he wouldn't watch the no hand, if they were taking no road handouts. Road. I will say this. I will say this. It's not a, it's not a good look if you on the same weekend as my Bobcats. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That means that means you got some Motor City Bowl game. Yep. You got yeah. the little season no, we go, yeah. December 14th. We, 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 we go to play Ohio. You down in Ohio. You in Athens <laughs> for the wine fest. That's what we doing. Yeah, <laughs> I got you down in the wine Peter bowl. Peter. The yeah. wine bowl. Hey, time is really hurt. Yeah. Really hurt to be in the white club bowl. I'm not hurt. How? Why does you every, Why does really everybody believe it. that I'm hurt about it? Oh no, listen. Well, I'm explaining. You, you seem hurt about it. No, listen. I'm explaining to you what I explained to everybody on Wednesday. Whether they uh, win or lose to the team up north, I'm gonna have four pair of gold pants at the national championship race. Ooh. I did what I was supposed Ooh. to do. Listen, Ooh. we were supposed to, when I my job, my job when I was there <laughs> yeah. was to close the gap because they got more wins okay. overall than us. Well, uh -huh. So I did my part of closing the gap. I get right. That. So you're blaming now I can't State. control who, who it. I'm the, not there anymore. Who the children? These right. children. These <laughs> children. Well, I mean, you guys had a good streak on you. Yeah, they. You they, guys they, hadn't lost to Michigan in what? What? Seven, eight years or something yeah, like that. You guys had a good like, going, so it, it was only right. Steve so, talking crazy. So, Steve so, up and talking about back to back time. Like they just so, like Purdue just gonna lay down for them. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Listen, they three and zero against top three teams. Uh, what you mean? Uh, are you no like way. so team Purdue right now? No, I'm not. You I am. Not? I am team Utah all the way though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're backing in to turn. Listen, if now. I was in studio right now, right. I would give you a hug. And he's, he's willing to accept it. He's like, Listen, that we, gets me in. We had, we had to do it when we went. Oh, we, went we was five on the outside looking in. We had a great Big Ten championship. Back in my day. So, well, well I, let me get you. We got all these college folks in if here. Was, let, let, let me ask you all a question. Mm -hmm. where, where do y'all stand on? They just told us in 2025. 24. 2024. 12, yeah, 12 yeah. teams. 12 teams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 12 teams is uh, now the 12 teams. We wouldn't be having this conversation about Ohio State right no, now. Is we, it, is it good? Well, we're in it's 22. Terrible. I love it. <laughs> good, bad, or indifferent. I, I used to think it was terrible, but I like it now. You I like it. It's more football to watch. I thought I didn't like and that. Now, I thought eight was enough, but 12 is not. No, you need. Let, let, let the quote go first. Let's let the quote go first. And I'll yeah, tell no, you why. I, I enjoy it. I, I like the fact that you you um you know make it you can possibly have twelve teams in a in a playoff because now I feel like the gap with the NIL play it's uh it's uh, closing the gap between you know the Alabamas and these mid level teams now I feel like honestly right now the way the rankings are in the top fifteen team I feel like honestly that a a, a ten ranked team could possibly make a run and win a national championship mm, yeah because mm -hmm. of the NIL. The beauty, the beauty, the beauty of the expansion is this: it's not the eight, the eight, the twelve is there to satisfy the ones that was crying the most. <laughs> but, but if you really want to have, seriously, because sometimes we be crying. Yeah, I'm yeah. A, here I tell you all the time. I'm oh, a car I remember, I tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes we be crying. Appreciate that candor. I, I said, <laughs> but I tell you this: if you want a real national champion, someday it's not the person that's ranked number one. Mm -hmm. Someday mm -hmm. get somebody get on a roll. Yeah. He might be 15 mm -hmm. and he might roll right. you right mm -hmm. for them three weeks. He rolled you. Yeah, and that's right. when you that's when you Nuggets, become the champion. Explain me the downside. You're obviously against it. Mike. Yeah, what is your I you think it just diminished. I think college football's regular <laughs> season is the best season of any sport in the world NFL because you can't lose basketball if you it, it makes every game that much important and this Ohio State Michigan game it was when you clinch it. Play, uh, spot in the Big 12 championship game, you essentially clinch your spot in the playoff. Loser needs a ton of help. If it's a 12-team playoff, 
not that the game doesn't mean anything, but the stakes go way down. My, and you can have teams my, like – and also, real quick, Brad, good. we have, if the playoff ended today, we'd have Penn State versus Clemson in the championship. Ch- Mike, let me – this was that's, a good, that's a good match. Mike, this, 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 this is this is where – this is your counter to this, right? I told you I'm a card carrier member. Here's the, one of the problems <laughs> with that, right? In a year where the Big Ten is down, right? We ain't right. Down. We got the big teams here. The, 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 the big ten is down. He's so proud. Right. Y'all is big big ten. Ten. He's so sensitive. <laughs> I know. I know. He, he, sensitive. Give him a hug, man. Right. Give him a hug. 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 Give him a but they struggled everywhere else along the way. And, and I will say this is the last thing. You sneak this in. Teams that play in the MAC or teams that play in, in Conference USA or American Athletic, there's no realistic chance for them ever to get in. But what happens if they get a good quarterback every once in a while? They can play a really good regular season schedule with ranked teams. And if they win three or four teams, yeah. run the you're schedule, in the mix. then you're in the mix at a 12, right? right? That's the beauty. Then of, you're in the mix. That's, yeah, the, that's, the, that's, the beauty, that's the beauty of the NCAA basketball tournament because somebody who yeah. you may never heard of right. get on a roll right. and start capping yeah. people, right? And, and, that's that's why, people get and that's why people love that that's tournament. fans get excited. It'll be yeah. fun, and I understand the home playoff games will be awesome, and I'm yeah, going to watch the crap those. out of it. Yeah. Like, I get that side of it. Mm-hmm. I just think it diminishes the regular season, and I love the fact that you lose one game in the regular season in college football. It, every game means something. You can't have one off week. But, guys, we're going to play – uh, the bucket game. G. Bush, you played yesterday. It's fun Dequel, as well. You have not played. Tyvis, Brad Polk, you have not played. So you get, all get to play at once. I'm very this is excited. Exciting. Hey, can I can I just clown them? I'll sit on the sideline and clown them if, if they like. Or am yeah, I participating? Bush, please. All right, there we go. So here's how the game works. <laughs> it's called the drop in the bucket. You guys have all played blackjack, correct? I know the quote I asked you yesterday. Tyvis. You don't drink, you don't do anything. Have you played black? Have you ever gambled? You I'm not blackjack? a I'm not a gambler, but on my phone I do play blackjack. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you really cut loose. This guy <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, doesn't I'm a, drink, I'm a, doesn't gamble. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rebel. Uh-huh. I'm a rebel. And Brad, you know Michael Jordan personally, so you definitely know how to play blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. So, right, right, right. Mike still owe him a bag or uh-huh. two. <laughs> Here's the premise of the game, Steve. Let's take 107 full. <laughs> it's called you got you got it ready. It's called a drop in the bucket. All right. On one side of the game. Is Deshaun Watson okay. on the other side of the bucket? Is how many former Browns quarterbacks can we fit in there to equal Deshaun Watson's career touchdown passes? <laughs> oh dear, this these is... are career touchdown passes for these guys. So it's just like blackjack, you hit. If you want another one, you can hit. And the goal is to get as close without going over gotcha. to Deshaun Watson's career total and touchdown. Now passes. here's a couple. Here's a couple. Here's a little advice. You guys are all okay. playing together as a team. Yeah. So you got to discuss it. And you got to have a running total of what you think the guy that you're going to put in the bucket is. So, okay. say, for instance, it's Charlie Fry. If you say two, and then the next one is Brady Quinn, you say right. he had he had three, that's five. Yeah, yeah. So, you got to get as close as you can without going over to 104 mm-hmm. using quarterbacks, given what he said. So, okay. I'll present you a quarterback. Got a quote. What's up to quote? Yeah, your question? So, is it only the, the quarterback's time with the Browns or no, their I think entire no, career? career right? It's career. the career touchdown passes. Okay. Okay. Because okay. oh. Colt McCoy's okay. still tossing, as far as I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Come on. So, let's roll. So, no, so, here, so I'm going to give you a quarterback, mm-hmm. and we'll add him to the bucket, and then right. you guys tell me if you want another one or not. All right. You ready? Yeah. Deshaun okay. Kaiser. Yes. Yes. Hit. we are hit. Yeah. No problem. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, how, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to figure out how many. How many he touchdowns has. do you think Deshaun Kaiser had in his career? Six. Right, give him six. All right. We'll put him down for six. Yeah. Okay. So everyone's hitting on Deshaun Kaiser. Okay. What about Deshaun Kaiser and Cody and Kevin Hogan? Hit. He yeah. Got like, of course. But we have to establish how many. Maybe Hogan he got like had. five. All right. We'll go with five. We're, we're making up that Kevin Hogan had five. Yes. Just pulling these things out of our A. Go ahead. Deshaun Kaiser, <laughs> Kevin Hogan, Cody Kessler. Hit. Now, we're trying to get – you said the total mean? number is at 104. 104, I believe. He's, I mean, he played in Jacksonville, oh, but I, I'd give him – Less than two? Yeah, I'm about to, I'd give him eight or nine at the most. You guys want me to write him down for eight touchdowns? Yeah, put him down for eight. Yeah, put him for eight. Or Kessler. Perfect. Everyone hit. Okay, Deshaun Kaiser, Kevin Hogan, Cody Kessler, Johnny Manziel. Mm-hmm. Oh, he, he had I, his share, right? I think he had ten, maybe. Did he have, did he have ten? He only played for us. He might have had – Four, we're, five. We're, we're, not, we're not counting when he played for the Calgary Stampede or whatever. Right. 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 Canada. Yeah. Only NFL NFL He okay. did only play for us, right? Yes. Okay. So what do you think? How many do you think? Five. 
I think he did better than that. You think? Give him, years. Give him, give him, give him eight. Give him eight. All right, we're going to give him eight. We're going to play a safe. Give him eight. I, yeah, I'm going to go with eight. That's, that's a lot. lot. That's, that's, I don't know if so I'm going to You guys hit. You don't think? I, I wouldn't be surprised this morning. Yeah, we're taking the hit for sure. Okay. Deshaun Kaiser, Kevin Hogan, Cody Kessler, Johnny Manziel, and Austin Davis. I don't even know wow. who that is. Yeah. Uh, he probably got wow. three. <laughs> he probably got three. Yeah, um, yeah, I got to take the low five. Man. Whatever well, number yeah. you got. All right, we'll go, ahead and, we'll go ahead and we'll put got, it Mike, at three. Many? We are now at 20. Well, the biggest three. question is how many we're, we're career touchdowns does Sean Watson have? 104. 104. So we got like 30 more okay. quarterbacks. <laughs> yeah, Come on, get to some meat. <laughs> go this, go ahead, Brian yeah, we need some Jake the Loans. Yeah. For the for the record, Austin Davis has the most touchdown passes of anyone I've named so far. Oh but, my God! Uh, just weird. Go. Okay, what? Next. Okay. You guys all hit, right? You guys all hit. It's over. Go okay, ahead. Deshaun Kaiser, Kevin Hogan, yeah, Cody hey. Kessler, Johnny Manziel, Austin Davis, and Brandon Whedon. Oh, oh we might have. We might ten. I mean, yeah. we can no, we're no, hitting. No, no, no. We we can take the hit, yeah. but but he, I don't know how many. Let's, let's listen. Because he who, went let's to Dallas. Guy who played with he, him for a second. He's probably anywhere between ten and twenty. Give him a 20. A so, I'll say <laughs> we got, let's we say got a lot of ground. Yeah, yeah, we do. I think we <laughs> And by the way, and by the way, I believe he played with Josh Gordon, right? And he was in Dallas. Yes, yeah, so he, he played with Josh Gordon. He went to uh, Houston Dallas. for a while. Give him a 20 piece. Wait, yeah. career, wait, 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 wait. His career? No, 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 no. He might be. Damn, he may be like 20. Let's go 15 to be on the safe side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> take it, take it down five. So is that a hit Hit across the board? <laughs> yeah, that's a hit. Okay. Hit, 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 hit. Deshaun Kaiser, hit. Kevin Hogan, Cody Kessler, Johnny Manziel, Austin Davis, Brandon Whedon, and Brady Quinn. Oh, that's a hit, too. Yeah, but yeah, hit, hit, he hit, got hit, like probably. nine, eight. Six. <laughs> <laughs> you giving him six? We'll go seven. We'll go in between. We're going, seven. You guys we, want to go seven? Or that, go seven. By the way, I, I do say this with great pride. I, I watched uh, the, I, when I watched Brady Quinn for the first time uh, when he was announcing <laughs> that game. I'm like, I think he's finally starting to age. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Thank, I thought he was a Mike demon. Po- Mike po- <laughs> you are so. This is why you weird. Yeah. <laughs> I said the same thing. Yes. I said between him and Matt Liner. I said, oh, oh, oh finally. Oh, they do some look. cracks they are in the very facade. Young. Some <laughs> cracks in the facade. <laughs> you can oh. just hitting on Brady Quinn. Yes. yes. What we okay. At? We are at forty-seven. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Kaiser, I'm sorry. Kevin Hogan, Cody Kessler, Quinn. Johnny Manziel, Austin Davis, Brandon Whedon, Brady Quinn, Man, get this a quarterback. We're at 55. You're going to have to dump Derek Anderson or Jake DeLone. Charlie Fry. Charlie Fry is your next one. Ooh. Um, Ooh. This trick. Ooh. I'm well, a, he filled in. Because he, oh, he, he wanted to go up to Pittsburgh, too. For real. He, tri- he threw some time. I'm thinking 20. Yeah. Hey. <clears throat> he, this tricky. Uh, I'm thinking 20. Charlie might have 15. You guys want I'm to taking. I'm thinking he has the most out of everyone on this list. I'm gonna guess that as well. A lot I'm gonna fry love. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say 25. 25. Fry, we're going 25. Yeah, definitely. Right, we'll he, 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 right, what, what y'all running total? Okay, yeah, now we're at yeah, 60, yeah. 60, 60. We're at 80. So He's still, coming. You think you're still hitting? Yep, still hitting. Come on. I don't know who did. Okay. Tyvis, are you ready to? You ready to pull out? I I I, I do really. I'm scared because. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I, I say hit. I say hit, man. Plus is hit. I'm scared to hit, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm, a, he, I'm a safe guy. What's that total? I'm a we're, safe guy. I play. Listen, I play. Hey, this guy safe. doesn't drink, man. I play a safe. I'm, they can go. I'm done. He's a guy. So Tyvis, is, Tyvis is sitting Tyvis out. Is, Tyvis is dipping out at Charlie Fry. The other three are still in here. So, ready? You three are hitting. Y'all about, yeah, yeah. Sean <laughs> Kaiser, Kevin Hogan, Cody Kessler, Johnny Menzel, Austin Davis, I'm Brandon Whedon, we, Brady Quinn, Charlie close. Fry, Luke McCown. Ooh, Ooh. Luke McCown. This is not Josh. Oh, Luke. Luke. See, no, nah, no. Nah, see, yeah, yeah. No. Nah. Luke McCown played 100 I, years. I would have took the hit. <laughs> so what, do you, what are you thinking then, Dequell? How many how many touchdowns do you think he has? Not Josh Luke McCown. McCown. Luke McCown. I have no idea. This is tricky. Yeah. He. Wait, I, so not Josh. Oh, that's right. I was thinking Josh McCown. Did you play with either oh, McCown yeah. when they were here, Dequell? He, he, are you looking it up? No. no. <laughs> Take a hit. No, man, I'm, I'm itching my leg, I'm man. <laughs> Listen, you gotta hit. Somebody, someone just make up a number on how many cut shots. We, Listen, how many cut shots do you think Luke McCown had? Four? He the played in the league for a lot of teams. <laughs> the answer's eight. four. You think it's eight? Let's say eight. 
Eight. All right. So now it, this it is my last by, one, though. This by is my R last completely one. made. Oh, 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 now, now you want to go oh, out. Yeah. What's the total? By R completely you made up standard. It's eighty-eight. <laughs> we're at right now, according <laughs> to our made-up numbers. So hit one more time. He goes. Hey, the, 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 the I got right now. Come on, hit one more time. Now from their home. Come on, let's see what we got. The mayor wants one more hit. One more hit. It is. Deshaun Kaiser, yeah. Kevin Hogan, Cody Kessler, Johnny Menzel, Austin Davis, Brandon Weedham, Brady Quinn, Charlie Fry, Luke McCown, and Colt McCoy. Ooh. Ooh. See, now we got now some. Now we out. Now I'm out. out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> 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 said, <"Dun>, da, da. <laughs> Take a guess on Colt McCoy's touchdown. Tony. He's still going. Colt, yeah. Colt, I think Colt 30. is throwing about 30. 30. 30. I like that number. But that's 38. That would be over. Yeah. That I'm out. Over. I'm out. That's why I'm You're out. out. I'm out. He's out. So I've been there. this new in the field, man. Where, damn. Okay. According anyone, to uh, anyone, I'm out. I'm out. Does anybody want to do anything else? I'm out. All right, so according to the no, big out. total now, you with I, yours I at 38, you we that would put us at 96. That would put us at 126. If our numbers are correct, <laughs> who is 38? So um, they said numbers. Colt McCoy 38. That was what he. I, I, I put him out. I didn't take you. It. Put him out. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, out. out. Brad's out. Yeah. Poker. You're out. I'm Free out. Colt McCoy. I'm out with Kaisers. I ain't taking. No, you out. Like, you gonna go out with no. Free Colt McCoy. You, you out at Luke oh, McCown. I, I was out. Wait, I'm not even guessing, but I would have. I would have. Would have got out long after that. You would have got out long. Poker, you in or out? And I'll give you the result. I'm in. You're in for one more? Hit me. Deshaun Kaiser, Kevin Hogan, Cody Kessler, Johnny Menzel, Austin Davis, Brandon Weedon, Brady Quinn, Charlie Fry, Luke McCown, Colt McCoy, Brian Hoyer. Oh, oh yeah. You oh, really, you ate. Hey, you bust. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you bust. <laughs> so the real answer for the record, Anthony Drumroll. What was the cutoff point? Tyvis was right on, but I forgot we played this with Tyvis on Wednesday, so that doesn't count because he cheated. You guys all busted. <laughs> I didn't cheat. You <laughs> son of a <laughs> How did I cheat? I forgot. We played this with you on oh, Wednesday, Tyvis. I that's literally not... forgot you were our first test dummy of this but game. But that's not cheating. Can cheat. you call me out? Right. I'm trying to look it up. That's not <laughs> cheating. Look, 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 that, that's look, cheating what Dequell did. Look, that's look, Charlie look, Fry. He's so, my bitch. I admit it. Mikey, Tyvis played the game before. On Wednesday, we so, I was the with Tyvis. I, I was totally the guinea pig. I was eating a lot of money. So, so, so you already knew what was happening. I, for, I had completely forgot that Tyvis had played this already. Yes. It's not a perfect system, and you guys. Tyvis and now, you see, why, now you see why Tyvis wants to back into the tournament. You see, you see exactly <laughs> why. It's all rigged. It's all Who's set up. Did, I, did I win or not? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, it's how you win, bro. It's how you win. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. To be fair, when McNuggets first tested this on me, I got out at the same time I just got out, and I was 100% That is true, correct. actually. He did, and it. that was the right okay. answer. Oh, then we here's, then we where I, okay. here's where I put this victory. Did you guys remember the show Press Your Luck? Uh, no whammies. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah. Okay. One time, one guy memorized the sequence, like a guy with like some guy with autism. <laughs> he memorized where it was going to land all the time, so he'd always land oh, on yeah, big yeah. bucks. So he'd be like, big bucks, and it would nail the big bucks. No whammies, and he ended up winning a ton of money. He didn't cheat. I remember He that. just memorized the system. Guys, Bull, <laughs> that's Bull's what watching this from the Clevelander. Bull, what, what's up, guys? Uh, first of all, Tyvis oh. played already, Mike. That's a what terrible job out of you. He, he doesn't get to. You can't win. You knew the answer already, Tyvis. I literally, all I did was take what I did Wednesday and apply it here. I didn't change no <laughs> answers. I didn't rig anything. You knew the answer. I literally took the same thing I you did knew Wednesday. You knew the answer. I literally took the same thing. I copied and the and pre -test. Took the pre -test Copy and, and paste. All I did was. If you score well on the pretest, you're going to go ahead and do the all exact same thing on the oh, test. Stop cheat sheet stop and put it on my desk is, and um, copy it but down. Nothing with Let me tell you so, something else, guys. Go ahead, Adam. Did you have you guys mentioned? I don't know if you mentioned this in the last 15 minutes, but it just came out that David Njoku's not playing. Did you mention that? What? No, no. I just got rid of the oh, 60 no. on my lineup, too. I, yeah, what? David Njoku was out this week. What do they say? <laughs> I didn't see the details the of ankle. it, but I know it's, he's out. It's the ankle that he Same played today. on last week. Must have yeah, re-aggravated. So Dang it, that stinks. Messed I mean, up, could, could well, happen. It's not a terrible week for that to happen, but right. I don't think they need him this week. I I wonder if they're just being precautionary because they figure they're going to kick the Texans' ass either way. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So in that but case, before, go ahead. So 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 in so in that case, does that change the way you you think Deshaun's are they going to throw the rock? Like I, now I'm looking at now is now I'm gonna be upset because I've been preaching 20 carries for the last 10 years. They wouldn't <laughs> give him the 20 carries. Now the shot yes, comes back. Oh, we don't need Njoku. Mm -hmm. We don't need no. We just gonna come give. Hey, well, Kareem obviously he's hurt. 
but they're you know not pushing it. By the way, speaking of injuries, I know Dequell showed his uh, Dequell. You showed your scooter before, whatever it is he got for your Achilles. Yeah, yeah my knee scooter. All right. Yes. So yes. As a, and that's as the only fellow, way I can move around. Bro. Do you have your? Do you have a cast? Do you have a cast? Or are you in a boot already? I'm in a boot. I'm in a boot. Mm. All right. <laughs> Well, anyway, I feel your pain, man. As someone who tore his Achilles, it's it sucks. So, so I'll tell you a story. So, I was supposed to wear the splint for two weeks, but yeah. because I was uh, icing so much, it felt like imagine you walking around with a soggy, like wet yeah. sock all day. So, I reached right. out to the surgeon. He's like, "Hey, you can cut it off." So, when I cut that that thing off, oh my gosh, oh my god, it just I can't even tell you the smell. That was around <laughs> the my I know that week. smell. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. Oh, my goodness. But, man, the, the knee scooter, that's the only way I can get it. You know, that's my saving grace right now. But yeah. it is what it is. All right, man. Well, Feel well. Hey, Bull, you. Bull, I got to say, I love your background, man. You're the only one that's custom. He's at well, the in there. fairness, I'm at a bar. You know, <laughs> here you go. He cheated. He's cheating. We got, we got the Christmas tree here. Yeah. There's Earl. Uh, we nice. got Earl in the background uh -huh. here. Nice. Yeah, have the manager and of the Cleveland nice. come over and decorate this. <laughs> hey, Dequel, we appreciate you I don't know. You got a pretty sharp-looking man cave down there, Dequel. I know. I, like that. I know you end with the shot. We're hey, actually going to end you today's shot. We are going to end today's show Thank with the you. shot, Dequel. So if you want to hop back on at the end, we're doing a little special ceremony at the end of today's show. Yeah. We did our first shot on UCSS with you in okay. studio. We'd be honored if you come back about 12.55 for a little funeral ceremony that we're going to do to. a shot with. Hey, so, I'll be right here. Get your, get your bottle of pain medication and, a, and that uh, <laughs> bottle of alcohol and just – no, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, no. okay. All right, don't go far, Dequel. No, don't no, do that, no Dequel. Today, well, do not do that. Drink Jesus, responsibly, wow. Dequel. We'll see you in a little bit. Thanks again, my friend. Hey, man, I'll be throwing parties by myself. All right. I see. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Mikey